subscribe all right uh if you're watching for the first time otherwise just share to whatsapp share 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 and uh click the thumbs up icon so i can know that you're watching once you come online okay um <clears throat> i want to talk about this made this new major general irabo or irabo i hope i'm pronouncing it well let me check uh irabo okay because there's a new development i want to talk about <clears throat> about uh, major general irabo so basically So you guys have seen it in that video right a journalist went to his hometown his particular village his particular family that the new general major general that they just appointed you know his position now is chief of army staff is now is the highest security office in the country after that of the president they appointed this man he's not a rich person if you see his family everything he's just a humble man but somehow he has risen, risen through the ranks of the military and they have now appointed him as chief of army staff after Buratai has been exited. And now this journalist traced this man's house to the village and started showing the world his family, this is his brother, this is his father, his mother, this, 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 that, this primary school that he attended, this, that. The, the man now arranged the whole family, the whole uh, kindred, gave them seats under one tree and video everybody. This is a man occupying the highest security office in the country. You know what is security? This is the man that will go after bandits, after Boko Haram, after all the types of um, headsmen, uh, whatever, that is uh, doing kidnappers and everything. His family, his, his community needs to not be known. Everything needs to be safe. You understand? There is no policeman in the world that will want you to know even his wife self, they will hide it. You they will know they don't even want to introduce their wife unless they know you, you know face to face. Even where they are staying, they don't want you to know. They are, you will never see their children. Like they will never say this is my child, this is my child. You never break, they will never post it online. Why are they avoiding that? Because of what? They are the, the way they are targeting criminals is the way criminals will be wanting to target them. You understand? So that's how somebody now went to um um went to their village and started exposing everything you know it's not all journalism that you're good with it's not all journalism that you should do you get it has put the man in problem now because if people want to blackmail him they now know where to go to you get it's not that he's rich or he's living somewhere that's secluded this is a general normal man normal having a normal military career it's just that god just bless him with that position and somebody's going to his house Going to his house to go and show the this is the house, this is the the, the the tree, these are all the kindred, everybody sit down. And why don't these people understand? If they want to thank Buhari, you understand, for the position, they were not thanking Buhari in that video. It's not a video that you thank Buhari, you people will come together, maybe write a letter, even through the man self to Buhari, say that the community appreciate. You don't show your face on video. You understand? You don't go online to the security head and you are showing the house of the person. This is there. And you know there is no security. It's not even like the whole village is fenced and there's a lot of soldiers, a garrison of soldiers protecting him. It's a regular village. There are regular people living their life in Abu or in Delta State. You get And then journalist is going to show everybody, show the senior sister, they show the senior brother. They went and brought somebody that he schooled with and showed the person, show ah ah. You know, we need to be sensible about the way we approach some of this thing. And the man self needs to do something to make sure that um, um, that video is taken out. Okay, the video should be uh, should be taken down, you know, for security reasons. Somebody cannot be fighting bandits and you're showing everybody where he lives. That's one of the reasons why policemen live together in the barracks. You know, it's not, it's not that they don't have places to stay at home, you know. One of the primary reasons uh, many of them want to stay in the barracks is for protection. You can't be uh, fighting against robbers and then you will live isolated. So I don't agree with that video, all right? I don't agree with that video. They should they should find a way to <clears throat> remove it. You know, you don't have to show the faces of even me now. That you have ever seen me post? See, <clears throat> I used to tell people that even online, don't post the picture of your the video. 
children. Be careful doing that. Be careful. You need to know, understand the environment before you do that kind of thing. Now, here's the reason. If somebody wants to kidnap your child, they can tell a lot about you from your social media posts. One day you snap your child, he's playing at home, now they know the face of the child. You know? Next day you snap your child, he's coming back from school and wearing a uniform. From that uniform, they can tell the school he's schooling at. You know? Next day you post that I'm just coming back from school and they can read the time and see that you posted it around 2 p.m. So that school closes around 2 p.m. What will happen is that by 1.30, they will show up in that school and say that you sent them that they want to quickly just uh, take the child and then they are traveling abroad. Boom, your child has disappeared. Next minute, they are asking for ransom. <laughs> it has happened. It has happened to many people. Be careful. Post Some people will go to Facebook and they, they will tap, tag their sibling, Their siblings, you know, brothers, this one, they will go. Facebook has that feature where you tag that this one is your sister, this one is your brother, this one is your father. Some people go and tag all these things. Mumu, mumu. <laughs> Must something bad happen to you before you figure out that it is wrong? Think about it. You know, do you know how much? See, you can have 5,000 friends on Facebook. 5,000. All it needs for something bad to happen to you is just one p bad person. 4,999 4, might be good. Just one bad person that is determined. Just one determined bad person can take you down or even hurt somebody close to you. There is this guy that um, um, they said they shot him on his way to the airport. He was heading to the airport. They, they were and shot him. How did they know that he's going to the airport? You know, I usually tell people, if you go to a place, don't share pictures while you are there. Don't upload pictures. Hey, I'm at an event. This is not an upload. Oh, we're now sharing meat. We're now dead. Don't upload pictures while you are there. If somebody wants to track you down, they can track you down. Assassination happens because what? People think they are safe when they are not safe. They are, because there's somewhere, somewhere, two, three, four people out of the thousands of people you know really want to take you down. You don't go and share, I'm in a party. They now know that you're in a party live. Or you go live on Facebook. Ah, I'm in this event. This. Who told you to go live? What are you benefiting from it? If you take pictures or videos in an event, fine. When you are done and you are home and everything is over, you can post it the next day. Even some of you that travel to certain countries, you know, anybody can travel to anywhere, but if you are from a certain kind of village, <laughs> if you are from a certain kind of village and you make that journey, you know, go, it, something bad will happen. You know, there are some towns and villages that they don't like progress. So it's not when you go that you start sharing all those videos. Nobody's asking you for that. Your, your life doesn't get better because you share all those videos. You can take all the videos you want, keep it secret. When you travel and come back, you can share that I, last year I was in social and so country. Last year was, you know, you don't have to always expose everything. Be careful the kind of information you put online. Now for this man, now I'm even pitying the man already, because you know, do you know how much uh, the uh, uh, responses, security responsibilities that we know what happened last year. It's not like we don't know. October twentieth answers. We know what happened. You know. Imagine that that people decide to take action like that. Ah, it's not fair. You can't just go to the house of a man and start showing his, his family, his mother, his brother, his this and that. It's, it's wrong. It's wrong journalism. So, guys, let me read some comments and see. Yes, a very joke. What's up? If you're watching this and you're not subscribed and, and your notification is not turned on, you'll be missing my live videos, all right? So make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my live videos. Now, um, Solid Rock, Solid Roko is saying that, um, am I protecting the man? Am I sure that the man will protect me? So what about the families of the police has... Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, that's not the topic for the day, but I can see in a way that you have a point, you know, but that's not the topic for the day. You, you, you understand? I can see where your point is going to, but that's not the topic. My point is everybody should be careful what they put online. Everybody should be careful. And then what they put online about other people. You know, there was this example where... The uh, blessing I'm talking about the general, the new chief of army staff, the one that is replacing Buratai. One journalist I don't even know the news station is working with went to the man's village and, and house, was videoing the man's house.
was bringing up his siblings to his elder sister, elder brother, the junior one, this, that, to interview them one by one. This one will come and say, I am the elder sister of the man. This one will say, I am the elder brother. This one will say, I am the primary school friend. This He now arranged the whole village, put them, even his kindred, and video all of them. Knowing that this man is going there to go to war. There is a war happening in Nigeria, up north. He's going to fight Boko Haram, fight bandits and this. Don't you think that that's enough information for bandits to even do something? So I'm calling it bad journalism. You know, it's very bad. You don't do that. You don't do that. So that's what I'm discussing here. So it's not cool at all. You know, that man self should even make sure that that video is taken down. That particular video. If, if you want to interview these kind of people, you turn their faces or something. There's a way you handle the interview that... It will be professional. You don't reveal personal details. And then at the same time, um, you're able to pass the information you want across. You get. You don't go and uh, you can't, don't go to somebody's uh, village lineage. And uh, even those people, I, I'm, I'm not sure that they took permission from that man. Like if you appointed somebody from a, a, a very poor and, uh, let me not say poor, but if you appointed somebody from a town, right? And, um, or a village. And somebody, a journalist, lands there and wants to do an interview. Those people are supposed to call the person and say, Hey, look, somebody came to interview. Or should we grant the interview? You get it. I know it was done innocently, but um, that journalist that did that did not think in that direction. But he should think and reconsider his actions, you know. And even the people that did interview, you may not blame them. They may not understand the full scale of the security implication of what they did. Yes, um, Vincent said many people have condemned the act. Yes, it's, it's wrong. Yes, Ebert Chukwin says he knows how long it took me to be fast. I started showing my face. I was I was running channel for three, four years before anybody ever saw my face. You know, I, I knew what happened that made me to start showing my face. Otherwise, you don't need to see my, see my face for nothing. You get, there's no big advantage in that. So if you're not careful about your own person, your own personal security is your responsibility. If you're driving anytime, always check out, especially when you're approaching your street or your hood. Look around, look, your, check your back mirror. Is somebody following you? You know, if you're not sure of the car, just drive past. And the advice is you drive past, you turn right on a street, turn right again, turn right four times. If the car is still following you after three, four turns, that means that car is tracking you. You better run up. You get Many people have been killed at their gate. The moment they arrived at their gate, they, 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 they stopped and then they want the gate man to open the door. Somebody just attacked. It has happened. If you check YouTube, so you see many videos like that. Somebody just have been driving, they have been tracking this person. Immediately, the person just got to his gate. They will just jump out of the vehicle and attack the person. So, so your personal security is very important. There was a video I saw again the other day. Somebody was having a... Um, Somebody was doing party. It has, I've seen so many videos like that, but the recent one I saw on Instagram, somebody, there was a party and this guy was carrying a cup. I wish I had a cup here. This guy was carrying a cup and was dancing. A cup like this and was dancing, you know. And his eyes was not there. Somebody came from, a friend came from behind and dropped something inside that cup and quickly hugged him so he didn't notice. The only reason he found out was that one person, the other guy was having a camera like this, you know. So that camera caught what the other guy did. There's another one that a guy died immediately after um, the wedding. He was complaining of stomach ache. He died. So they started tracing what happened. This one happened like two weeks ago. What happened? What happened? So they also saw that when they were blessing, the elders were blessing the wine. Somebody dropped something inside it. See, no matter how much charm somebody sends to you from, from village, you know, it's not efficient. Where you have problem is when the person switches from metaphysics, spirituality to physical. When somebody wants to use gun from for you, that's physics, physics skills, you know. Or when somebody wants to put something in your food, chemical, biology, those are the ones you should be very wary of. You understand? But that one that somebody is a, a witch in the village that say you will never succeed, or this, that, that people that want to plant uh, uh, juju inside there where you are building your house, this. That. Forget it. But if it's something that has to do with your personal biology, chemistry, physics, be very careful about it. Those are the ones you can even guide. You can't guide, you can't guide against what somebody will do in their house. If somebody decides to do juju for you in your house, what can you guide against? You can't do it. And you will not even know. So that one is out of your control. 
what's in your control is what you put in your mouth. You get, there was a man that was falling ill. Every time he's falling ill. Uh -uh. He went to hospital. The doctor said that you have a certain substance in your system. You know, this substance, every time he goes to for checkup, is increasing. They say something is wrong and this one is killing you. What did this man do? He went and planted a secret camera in his kitchen. It turned out that his wife, every time, will always put extra substance in his food. This wife did not want to poison him once. Now dropping small, small poisons, small, small poisons, small, small poisons, so that he would die over, over some time, so that they can now say that this is the day he died, or he will die suddenly. You know, they would just say that he fall, he fell ill and gradually died. His own wife. So be very careful what you put in your mouth. Very, very, very careful. Your own personal security is your responsibility. Forget the security that they put in the streets. You know, there's somebody watching this that needs to put a secret camera somewhere. Not just a secret camera, in the streets. You know, plant something on your house that looks over your compound. Plant something that looks over the backyard. How much is it compared to the cost of life? Go look for CCTV, people that will install it. Let them install it. You know? You don't even need to expose the CCTV. You might put it under a headlight or something. You get. Because that CCTV, that CCTV can run for two years and you will not see anything. But the day something bad will happen, that's what is going to save you. You can now see who actually robbed your car. You know, you can see who is trying to, who was trying to break into your house before something happened. And there are some of these CCTV that you can see from, from your office. You know, they, they have motion detectors, so they don't they don't uh, video all the time. It's only when somebody passes that the camera will on and catch the person and stuff. And then it will send you alerts in your office that somebody is trying to knock at your door or this, that. Then if you on it, you'll be seeing the person. Then you can talk. And the person, the speaker there will start speaking to the person. It's there. Just look for CCTV installation. Go to your Google and type CCTV installation in your city. Type your city. Then you'll see then you ask them for this one I talked about. So be careful what you put online. Michael, Michael Kayode, how are you doing? So someone said our people are not security conscious. Even I don't comment on my family post, let alone exactly. There's no point going to come hey, thank you, darling. Thank you, this thing. People are now linking. Oh, this might be this guy might be married to this lady. Now they know how to get you. You get so they know that this guy now you might be careful but the lady that's um is connected to you or the a person that's connected to you or your sibling may not be that careful so now you are posting words of cash online or somebody bought a new car you are thanking god you go to this that you snap it on the day you are doing thanksgiving now they know that you have money and they say this lady we can track her down before you know they have kidnapped the lady and they're asking you for money <laughs> how would you deny you know so be careful what you put online and it's, it's something you have to teach everybody around you. You don't have to tell the whole world everything about you. See, people lived their entire lives in the past without social media. People lived the whole life from start from day one to day hundred without social media. So if you don't put things on social media, you will not die. You know, some people will go to social media and put everything, even their house address. I'm from this place, this village, in that village, in this, in that. And they put, who are you putting it for? I don't even understand. You're just giving bad people more information. Do you know? Let me let me shock you. Let me shock you. Do you know that I can, if you tell me your Facebook page, I can find what your birthday is. <laughs> it shock you, Abby. Because I can go to your Facebook profile and look for such a keyword for where people were wishing you happy birthday. Then I'll find it that this day is your birthday. Now let me tell you how many of those people that wished you happy birthday are actually sent something. One thing you can do is that day on your birthday, you can just make a post. Today is my birthday. All right. Remove the whole birthday idea from your Facebook post, Facebook page. Uh, if you go to settings, you can remove birthday. Then you can say today is my birthday. People will comment on that one post. After they are done commenting, the following two days, you delete it. That one is gone. If somebody is trying to track your birthday, if somebody can find your birthday, do you know that they can, um, they can call MTN and claim that their SIM card is lost? MTN will ask them what's your full name. They can tell you. They can tell MTN. They found it on your Facebook page. You know, why are you using your real name on Facebook page? What's your full name? They will tell. What's your birthday? They will tell. What else will uh, MTN ask them? What are the three last three numbers that made call to you? They will tell because, of course, they will use strange numbers to call you. 
if they call you like two, three times, if they call MTN, MTN can switch your, your SIM card to their own. And then with that SIM card, they can hack your bank account because they will just download banking app, install it, and transfer your funds. See, scammers are really smart. They are just people that want to use their smartness for evil. They are really smart. You know what is an evil genius? Not just scammers. People that, if somebody wants to hurt you now in terms of assassination or track you down or choke whether you're cheating or something, have you ever seen a woman that is jealous? The moment a woman goes jealous, her intelligence just increases. Every single, she can perceive even the slightest uh, perfume. She will know that this man, this is not exactly your perfume. It's adding small. It's like you hugged somebody. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Once a person is determined to track you down, don't give, make sure that the person doesn't get enough information. So don't put on, uh, enough information out there. Just go to Google, right? Type your name. Tell me what you see there. Even school that you schooled in, the school you schooled in, let me, tell, let me tell you one secret. If I know your university, I can call somebody working at admissions in university and say that I'm you and I want my results sent to me. You understand? The, the person will usually ask me how much. I'll just transfer money and then before you know it, the person has worked the result and sent it to me. Now I have your full details. <laughs> Do you know that somebody can withdraw your class list and know people you are in the same class with? Just by knowing your university. Do you know how much information somebody can get by just knowing your university? They can get so much information about you. Why do you have your university on your, on your profile on Facebook to do what, to achieve what? You know, I'm not saying it's bad, but in instances where it's not useful, why are you putting it there? You get, so there are so many things about you that doesn't need to be on social media. At the same time, there are some things that are essential that you have to put there. Otherwise, your, your profile will look like a scammer's profile. Fine. But then there are so many other things about you. For instance, why are you putting all your pictures on social media and making them public? It's different if you make them private. You know, somebody will go to your social media before they scan for one or two years. Now they know everything about you. They know your each of your siblings, all their faces are there, your family, your, your, your father, your mother, your children, everybody's faces on social media. Now they know everybody. Then it's not just that you put it, you tag them on the picture. Think about it. Thanks. OBTV. <laughs> Chuku said mother's middle name. <laughs> I swear, the, even the maiden name of the mother, some people will put so much information. You know, number one, you need to protect your child. Treat yourself like a president. Do you, do you think that a president will will put her child's uh, information online or his child's information online, the president of a country. You get, they're going to be extremely careful doing that because they know that, yeah, there are always bad elements. If somebody wants to blackmail you, are you giving them enough information to do that? You get, you can snap the inside of your house, but never snap outside. Never snap your ATM card. Any picture that involves, maybe you snap your desk and your ATM card is somewhere and somebody will zoom in and pick the numbers there. <laughs> your money don't go be that there was one day dj khalid was doing uh what do you call it he was doing um motivational speech on snapchat he now took his card and snapped it and was saying that like, you can you can make money you can do this people just froze that thing hackers zoomed in there and withdrew like eighty thousand dollars or so from his account <laughs> within minutes within minutes Thanks. Smart. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Just be careful what you put online. All the information. Some people, there was one guy I was checking out online. I even saw the, the paper he wrote while he was in university. He's a PhD student. Ah, ah, why do you put so much information? Go to Google, type your name there, your full birth name. Type it there and see what's going to happen. All right? Even on LinkedIn, let me tell you, even on LinkedIn, you don't really need your full name on LinkedIn. Your real name, you don't really need it on LinkedIn. You understand? If you change your name on LinkedIn, people will still find you. They will still chat you up and say, they can tell them that. When they now ask you to submit your CV, you can now submit your CV. You know, tell them that, that the one on LinkedIn is not your real name. Submit your CV. 
Because if you put your and LinkedIn would demand that you put as much information as possible because that's how they make money. You put as much information. So if somebody just type your name, they'll land on LinkedIn, they will see the company you work with, this, that, that. From the company you work with, they can track down your CEO and your work colleagues. They can track it down. You understand? They will see this, that, that, that. all the information is you don't need you don't need to put your real name so that people cannot find you from Google to LinkedIn. I know the companies you worked in, you even put the years you worked, the months you left that company. Ah, be careful what you put online, you know? It just takes one bad person to be able to track you down and do something terrible to you. You understand? You might post something online. Let me tell you. Everybody posts online. One day you might post something that is controversial online. People will go to your LinkedIn, find the company you are currently working with because you put it there. They will screenshot that thing and send to that company. Boom, they have fired you. <laughs> it shock you happy. And that thing might be taken out of context because you might post it in a context where it is a joking matter. You understand? There are people that are suffering it today. There are people that made the post about um, gay people. You make a post at a time that it was okay in a way to make that kind of uh, uh, joke. Now, 10, 15 years later, somebody goes to dig it up and send it to your employer. Boom. You don't go with that. And if it makes the news, no other employer wants to employ you because once they type your name, they will see all that. Social mentor is recommending vaccine for everybody. <laughs> so everybody needs vaccine to correct their mental states. All right, I'm going to stop here. Uh, uh, Vincent said, I travel from Dubai to Nigeria for burial. I don't want people to know that and uh, that I'm around. Before you know, my friend posts our pictures online that my friend is back to Nigeria. Before you know, people everywhere, people start calling me. Hey, yeah. So that's it, man. Uh, always be careful of your movement. You don't need to tell people I'm arriving tomorrow to Nigeria. You don't need to arrive first. You know, it's better to say I arrived two days ago than I'll, I'll arrive tomorrow in Nigeria at uh, uh, is it Mohammed International Airport or whatever they call it, you know. And they can track you down there. They are waiting there because there's only one place you can leave the airport from. They'll be waiting for you there. You get. And the thing is that the person waiting for you may not even know the person. The person has seen your pictures on social media. They now know you very well. Now they know you very well. They can be waiting for you. You just be walking on your own out of the airport. Now they know you. They track that car. It has happened to many people. So if you go to an, a place or an event or anything, you can do all the recording you want, but don't post it immediately. Wait for a day or two. Post it. Say, we had this event yesterday. I had that time. That information is not as useful as it will uh, to be the day before. So I'm going to stop here. Thanks, thanks. Social mentor, thanks a lot. I'm going to stop here. Of course, if you want any business to do online, I have it. Go to my site, all right? Braintem.org. I'll try and pin it in the comments. Just go there and look for any course that you like very much and we are coming up with a job recruitment platform very very soon so it will be easy for people to find jobs all right thank you start a tech career this year things are getting uh worse for some types of uh, jobs all right you, you just heard that recently that they ended the whole crypto thing hmm. start a tech career so there's a, a course that i think everybody watching this should take Every, whether you are interested or not, you should take a course on how to create a website. It's not actual coding. And that course, you can be done in three days. It's actually a three-hour course. So if you can stay one full day and finish it, fine. All right? You focus, you finish it. Now you learn how to build websites. Then you see how other ideas will start coming. Even if you're a trillionaire, if you're now talking to web, developer, web developers or programmers to build a, 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 a platform for you that you want to invest in, now you can use the right terms. Now you understand what it looks like. You understand? So the course is there. I'll put the link in the chat. You click and then you go get it. All right. Thank you very much, guys. See you.